guys it's gypsy and welcome back to our channel um first we've got a really good video for you today and it's pretty helpful for a lot of beginners so first don't forget to like and subscribe to us um follow us on all of our social media platforms and don't forget we have patreon those who subscribe to patreon get um free access or get access to early releases and more information if you can't do that we also have a buy me a coffee account don't forget every little bit helps us keep bringing you all this amazing info and episodes um all right so today we're going to be talking about candle dressing there's um many different things you can do with candle dressing um first it's um part of a lot of workings for a lot of people so what do you call it um there's many different ways but i'm going to show you a few of my uh, my way actually um i have a different method for some people um but yeah so think of a candle when you dress it as a one-stop shop you're not only using your candle magic, but you are also using all the herbs that you need and burning them all at the same time. It's like a one-stop shop incense kind of thing. The spell, the incense, everything you need. So, let's get started, shall we? First, you need to pick the candle. I'm going to show you how to do it on a chime candle first. So, take your candle. Pick your intentions, pick your oils. You can use oils that are already pre-made um, to anoint your candle. Then you can use regular carrier oil. Um, so we're gonna do that. Okay, first I'm gonna put a little dab on my plate because you're not gonna use a lot. All right, so directional when you stroke out you're sending things away when you stroke in you're bringing things towards you so since this one's going to be a release candle just gonna anoint it all the way around try not to get the wick area because you don't want that okay you see Nice and anointed. We're going to take some of the herb, crush them up a little bit. Um, all right, you're going to want a good space where you can roll your candle. So you're going to want a plate or um, a dish of some kind. You're going to take it and just roll it about. You don't have to make sure everything sticks. Because, first of all, that's a kind of a fire hazard. So when you are using a dress candle, make sure you are using your fire safety. Make sure it's in a fireproof dish. It is away from everything, just in case it starts sparking. And there you go. You have a dressed candle. I'm going to show you another way. Um... I use honey sometimes. I use raw organic honey. First of all, there's nothing put in it, so it's not going to cause a fire. Um, I will use honey for money spells, love spells, um, self-love spells mostly, um, and attracting abundance and everything into you know, someone's life or my life. So you're going to do the same thing with the honey. As you did with the um, oil. I use raw because it's less messy, as you can see. It's a lot less messy. And you're gonna just do the same thing. You're gonna rub it, you know. You're gonna do that and do the same. Same premises. 
The thing is, with the honey, you're going to get a lot more things sticking to your candle. Try not to get the honey on the wick. And there you go. Um, <clears throat> there's some people that use a lot of different things to um, dress their candles. Um, like, let's go with Bella. She will use crushed up bugs. Bugs are her thing. So she will crush up some bugs with her herbs and stick them onto her candle. Because, you know, why not? Um, but if you don't want to use herbs to roll around on your candle, you can get oils that are specifically for certain things. Um, you know, this is my firewall oil. Uh, this is attraction oil, not just love attraction. Um, and then this is one of my baneful oils, my sweet revenge oil. I love it. But that is how you dress a candle. But always remember your fire safety rules when it comes to using dress candles because you do have things on them that will flame if they do get near, the flame does get near them. Uh, they will pop, they will spark, um, depending on the kind of oil or um, lubrication you are using on them. So remember, fire safety. And with that, I hope this was a little helpful to you guys. Um, stay tuned for next, uh, you know, video and see what we got coming up next for you. Peace out. Oh! <laughs>